Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make this blinged three loop chain and how I blinged that victory braid. Please consider subscribing and don't forget to tap that bell for notifications on my uploads, live streams, and premieres. And if you're feeling generous, please like the video. First, we're going to start with the blinged three loop chain. I cut the ribbon at 17 inches, but I only need about 15 inches for the chain itself because this is a mid-size mum. And then the loops, the ribbons for the loops are six inches long. So you just want to take those ribbons and simply make a loop out of it. These are going to be the outer two ribbons. And you want to lay up this, layer the second one on top of the first one and you want to line up all those edges and then make a point at the top. So you know you've got it lined up correctly if you have a point there at the top. So here's another one. Very simple, make that loop and then layer this one on top or on bottom. I find it easier to do it on top. And then I want all my edges to match up at the top and the side and then I want it to make a point at the top. So this is why I love this loop chain because it's so easy to form those loops because you know to make a point at the top right there. I'm going to quickly make all, I'm going to go ahead and attach, I'm stapling these two together, setting them off to the side, and then I'll add that third loop later. This actually made it so much easier. So now for the center, I'm going to use that blinged silver glitter ribbon, but it's not a stiff ribbon. So I'm layering it with a white acetate or a white luster, some kind of stiff, do you just want a stiff, firm ribbon that's going to hold its shape? And that silver glitter ribbon is actually just a, a tad wider than the um, acetate, so that's fine. You won't even see that white acetate except for when you're looking from the side view. And you just want to put that loop right in the center of those uh, two side loops, those purple loops. And that's what it looks like from the back. Very, very simple. Go ahead and staple that. You want them already made. It's better on loop chains to go ahead and make the loops and staple them together and then add them to the ribbon to make the chain. You're just, if you try to form all the loops and then staple it onto the chain without pre stapling them, they're going to be moving all over the place and then you're going to be fighting with them. So this will save you time and it will save you a lot of frustration. So pre staple all them. And like I said, I like to pre staple the two side loops together and then do the middle one because that also saves you some time and frustration. Go through and make all of these and I don't even know how many clusters I made <clears throat> but I want the bottom I want to start at the bottom and then I'm going to align that center loop with that ribbon so the edges need to line up so that's how I know I've got it on there straight and I'm going to give it a couple of staples and then I'll start with my next one. Now you want to be careful when you're doing clusters like this or any kind of loop chain actually. If you put them too close together then it will make the chain curl under big time. So you see how that's already starting to curl with only two and the more loops you attach the more it's going to curl under. But I understand that if you have, if you're using the loop chain to put like a name or like homecoming on it or something and you've got limited space, sometimes you have to put them close together. But I just want to warn you, when you do put them close together like that, it will curl under. And then if you put them too far apart, you can see the staples, so then you'll have to cover up the staples later. So I just play around with it and get them as close together as I can without them being too close and then just spread them out. I didn't need a certain number because I didn't know if I was going to add any vinyl or anything to this. This was mostly decorative so I didn't have, you know, it wasn't like I was going to put her name on it and had to worry about how many loops I, I needed to put on there. And then I actually made it so you could see the top of this chain once it's attached. You could add another cluster on there and then it wouldn't be seen, but I wanted to add some bling at the top. So I'm just going to do this flower shaped diamond mesh ribbon. And I'm doing three across right over that silver glitter ribbon. So I'm covering up those staples. So if the top of your chain is seen like this, 
you want to make sure you cover up those staples somehow. You can even add like a little bow or you can just uh, glue a trinket on there or something. This is a blinged out mum so I was trying to add as much bling as I could. I had decided to do like a little pyramid on the top with this bling. So I did three and then two and then one. Turned out really cute. Just wanted something a little fun and different there at the top of it instead of the usual I'm going to put three across or six across. And here I'm just adding another glue stick to my hot glue gun. And here it is finished. I just love, love, love this three loop chain. It's one of my favorites. And you see I, I was able to put some some vinyl on there. It's uh, I think it was silver shimmer or silver glitter vinyl. It's hard to tell from the photos and I can't remember because it was last season. But see, you can see that the top of that chain is being seen, but it's pretty. It's got all that bling up there, so just added to it. And I, I love that chain. I think it was like a good focal point. So now we're going to move on to the Victory Braid. I've cut these uh, gold glitter ribbons at 4 inches. And you just simply want to slide that under. I'm um, sliding it under the purple and over the old gold because I want the gold glitter on top of all the old gold. And you flip it over and you just want to glue that ribbon to the back side. Very, very simple. Now this uh, chain, or this braid was made with 916 inch width acetate ribbons. That's why it's not real wide. So if you're working with a Victory braid that you used the 7 8 inch ribbon, four inches probably won't be enough for those little ribbons. So it's best to slide the ribbon in like you're going to attach it and then figure out how long you're going to need those ribbons. And I am attaching these on over each one of that old gold ribbon. So I want this blinged out. I'm going to add more bling to this as well. If you don't mind, I would appreciate you liking this video and commenting, but please be kind with your comments as always. And you can also send me a super thanks and a special comment by leaving me a tip. And it's, it's right there next to the thumbs up, thumbs down, share, uh, all that. There's a heart with a dollar sign in it. Okay, so now I'm gluing the top of those ribbons as well. You know, I glued the bat on the back side, the bottom of those gold glitter ribbons. Now I'm gluing the top side as well. I'm kind of pulling it out just a little bit and adding just a touch of hot glue. Don't add too much. You just want to do a little, little tiny bit. And that's just going to keep them from sliding out because sometimes it, that can happen. And now I'm working with some diamond mesh ribbon. And those little triangles off to the right side don't have any gold glitter on top of them. So that's why I'm taking this diamond mesh and I'm cutting it and trying to make it the exact same shape as those little triangular shapes there on the right side. And that's what I love about this diamond mesh. You can just cut it to shape. You can just keep playing around with it and get it almost the exact shape that you need it to be. I've even seen people cut letters out of them. That would be really difficult. I've never done that. <laughs> I think that would be very tedious, but this was pretty tedious as well. I know you can't see that very well. Gold on top of gold, it's not showing up very well. But you just want to keep cutting those. And once you cut the first one, you know how to cut the next one so it goes a lot faster. And I'm just going to glue those on top of every single one of those triangles. And see how fun that is? It's really blinged out. And there's the back side, which you won't see. So it doesn't really matter. And then the top part, the top couple of inches, I knew it was going to be a little too long uh, for this minimum, so I didn't even bother blinging up that, that top couple of inches. But here it is on this little minimum. And you can see I also added later some of the flower-shaped diamond mesh as well on top of the purple tri uh, triangles or diamonds, which is why some people call that the diamond braid because it does have like the diamond shapes. And I wanted to show you both of these braids after they were finished and attached to the mums. I figured you would appreciate seeing the finished product. 
Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe, share, like, comment. Please be kind with those comments. And remember, you can always send me a super thanks as appreciation to help my channel grow. If you can't do that, that's fine. But please, every now and then, watch an ad all the way through. That is the only way that our, us YouTubers get paid. So I'd appreciate if you could do that, too. Thank you so much, and have a great day, and happy mum making, everybody.